Well, if you have a 3D printer, you know this little issue. And especially having those Bamboo Labs 3D printers, having a lot of filament left over. Sometimes they are on spools. Sometimes you have those loose pieces where you cannot do anything with it. Or better, those, those 10 grams filament samples that you get with a brand new 3D printer. What to do with it? Well, Sunlu is supposed to have a little gadget that is most suitable for welding those pieces together. Right here. On Zach's Reacts, right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. Yeah, it was going to happen that some brand is going to do this, and maybe some other brands did it before. And when I started with 3D printing several years ago, I had also bought this little metal thing where you put one piece of filament in one side and one piece of filament in the, on the other side. There was also, I think, a PTFE tube in there. And then using a lighter, to melt the pieces of filament together and then trying to move the filament through it to fuse the filament pieces together. I have tried that, but for me, and why I didn't make any video about it, it was too big of a hustle. And you know what? You don't want to burn your fingers with it because metal, fire, it's getting hot, it's getting burnt your fingers. I did see on, on YouTube and on several other places, people having this, I think, cut into two pieces hot ends or heater blocks and then trying to fuse the filament that way. Or if you have the pallet from Mosaic, you have also something like splicing and fusing filaments together. Well, and I understand you don't want to buy a big Mosaic pallet in order to fuse your leftover filaments, right? Well, I'm going to give my reaction to it since I don't have the device here, but they are going to release it. And even if I would buy it, I will get it somewhere September, maybe October, and I don't want to wait that long and I want to give my opinion about it. Let's uh, dive right in. And so here it is, the Sunlu Connector FC01. I think FC stands for Filament Connector 01. I can already tell with the 01. I think there is going to be a new version of it in the future. As you can see, it is a fully enclosed device. You are putting one filament on one side and the other filament on the other side, fusing those together and then roll it to one spool and you are fusing another spool filament on the last part of the uh, second spool that you added to that. Environmental friendly? Of course, you are not throwing away old pieces of filament that were, you know, regarded for a very long time. I fully understand. This is, a, I think, a good thing. They say here also preset temperature. If you scroll a little bit down, we all know that PLA temperatures are around the 200 degrees, 210, and nowadays with the new 3D printers, Bumble Labs, Creality, and other uh, brands having the PLA temperature at 220 degrees. Well, they say here for the PLA series, the default melting temperature is 185 degrees C. Heating up time, three minutes. Recommended melting time, seven to eight seconds. So if you have a lot of PLA laying around, you can make a nice half spool, full spool. And, you know, it doesn't cost that much time. And once you are getting the hang of it, I think it would be very handy to use, I guess. So here you also see the display. Of course, if you are going to use this, it's not going to radiate like you can see here on the picture. It's just graphical. There are some buttons. It does appear like a touch screen, but also seeing the uh, the display heats up to 240 degrees C welding, PLA, ABS or PEGI. I think for the most common common filament types, the, this machine or this device is well suited for that. We have here a top cover. We have, I think, one part of it that I don't think it is plastic. It could be plastic, but I assume like maybe this is made out of metal. And then here you have the splicing or heating se section of this machine. Here you can clearly see the inside. So here you see the two ends. It seems to be pretty big. Here you can see on this side, the cover is being uh, closed, but you also see how this works. Caution hot. So this part, I definitely think it is going to be a metal kind of thing instead of something like engineering grade plastic. There is a clip. So you, you put the pieces of filament together, you put that thing down, the lever, you put the lever down till it clicks, and then you let the machine do its thing. And I think you will get a signal or something like that, that it is done. And then you can move on to the next part. I'm wondering if you are going to do something like this, if you will get a little bolt or a little rim around the part where it is fused together. I hope the diameter is a little bit smaller than a normal one for maybe if it will expand a little bit because of the heat that you don't get uh, nozzle clocks while using this type of uh, fusion of filaments. I don't know if, if there is also a cutting device in there. It doesn't say it here. Yeah, so what they are saying here also, you have a, a spool with several 
uh, roundings around these, the base of the filament spool and it doesn't seem much. But if you are going to throw away like 57 grams, like in this, this case, if you do that every single time, it adds up very quickly. So basically, if you do something like this, fusing all, all leftover filaments together, or if you have three or four of the same color and you put them together with this device, it will help quite a lot. You will get basically half a spool or maybe a full spool of filaments. And especially for people that are having a print farm, and having always this same leftovers of filament, you can actually make more money of those leftovers to reuse it, to splice them together with this uh, Sundu uh, Filament Connect device. And so, as you can see, you can also get something like a rainbow color with multiple layers of different kind of colors. Safety protection against burns. Use the connector. Realize your creativity. You can make a lot of cool models using this device. And if you have a standard 3D printer with no, no color changing, maybe you can use this type of device in order to make your own. Just saying. Yeah, just, just like this. Getting some unique art, unique faces that you can uh, sell on Etsy or somewhere else. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We are going to see how it works. So like mentioned, you are going to use a PTFE tube to Put the two pieces together. It doesn't seem that this is cut in an angle, something like that. I think maybe it might be possible to do that. So this is how it looks like on the inside. You have here this heater part, and then you are going to close it, it clips, and then you are going to, uh, to fuse them together inside of the PTFE tube. So I don't know what he was doing. Does that mean? Because I see here that the PTFA tube is being cut. Has Sonlu this automatically done? If I'm checking this here, this seems to be a PTFA tube that uh, that isn't cut. But later on, because the motion, the motion that you see here, you see that there is a cut in the PTFA tube. So is the PTFA tube now a consumable? Really? Because you see that he, he is doing this action. He pulls it away from it. Why? Why is that? So here it says lightweight and compact, portable. You can put it in, the, in your back pocket of your jeans. So I will put this device that is as big as my hand in the backside of my jeans. I don't, I don't, I don't see any purpose, but I mean, put it in a backpack or taking it to a 3D print event could be handy. Again, a friendly choose material with preset temperature, safety protection against burnt Hands, physical assistance for easy fusion, and then <laughs> advantages, three advantages. <laughs> Highly efficient fusing with outstanding results. Yeah. I really hope that the PTFE tube is not being thrown away after each time of use. If I think about it and you are going to cut the PTFE tube and you need to throw it away, it's bad. I personally, I would try out different kind of PTFE tubes and just pull the PTFE tube further along the way. So we have here also instructions. Uh, recommend to cut at an angle for a larger contact area. Okay. Insert both ends of the filament to be joined into the sleeve. You can clearly see here the filament that is most, most of the time very close to the base of the filament spool. It's very bent. So the other one that you can see here, one is, is going like this and the other one go, is going like that. The break point will still be very close to the fused together pieces of filament, I assume. You will hear beep, press the heater cover. So during the heating process, hold the both sides of the filament. Gently push inwards to ensure full con uh, contact of the joint. Yeah, okay. The machine will beep if it is finished. Slowly remove the filament. Let it cool for 5 to till 10 seconds. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. In this device, there is also the cutter for the sleeve. So it is going to be a uh, <clears throat> waste in the end. So here you have this back fusion splice sleeve PTFA sleeve. What does this bag cost? Because now it is, that is a consumable. So if I see those prices, then I assume that a bag of 200 pieces of PTFA sleeves are around the five euros, five dollars. This is something that they are starting with. The uh, pre-sale period starts of 14th of July until the 14th of August. And for me in the Netherlands, it's a 22% reduction on the price. So, hey, that's, a, I think, a good deal. And for 33 euros, 
I think it's not too bad. Shipment to the USA, Canada and Australia. Shipment 30 August 2024. And for the rest of the world, basically end of September. So a filament connector to connect all your leftover filaments together seems to be a very nice plan. However, there are some thoughts that I have about this and I already expressed it a little bit. The PTFA tube needs to be cut away within this device in order to, you know, use the filament. I can see where they are coming from. Just for example, if you are fusing two spools together, it's easier to cut the piece of PTFA tube away or sleeve away and then have no worries. On the other hand, I would rather want to see something more durable, more environmental friendly, so that you can reuse it several times. And especially here, if you are going to fuse smaller parts together, are you not able to pull this sleeve to the next part where you're going to fuse the pieces of filament together? But anyways, I think the idea behind this whole uh, fusion, uh, filament fusion concept of the filament connector FC01, I think it's a very nice machine, but that is the only concern that I have waste of PTFE tubes. $5 for a bag of 200 pieces. I don't know. But if you want to buy this one in the pre-order uh, period, I will put the link in the description. It is less than $40. I don't know what the price is going to be in the future. I think like $50, maybe $60 in the end. Check out the link in the description and pre-order one and let me know. What do you think about this solution for your leftover filaments? If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, like this video, and uh, you know, check out this video right over here.